So you might be in this really weird situation where for some reason your particular iPhone cellular option is actually missing inside of your device. Now this can happen for a few different reasons. The number one thing I'd recommend doing here for the most part is to just go through inside of your cellular settings or just your iPhone settings in general and you want to see what that actually entails for your particular device's settings for the cell settings to be missing. If it's grayed out like this, that basically means you don't have a SIM card. If it's totally missing, that might mean that your particular device may actually end up like the cell signal may not be working or your SIM card is just missing. So you may just want to go through, take out your SIM card of your phone and reinsert it, or you can try enabling your eSIM card again. So try going through, scanning that QR code of your eSIM, and you want to see if that ends up working. For some people, that might end up fixing it for you, and that's probably all you're going to have to end up doing. Now, if you do that and that's still not working, another thing you may want to try doing for the most part is to just go through and see if you can try, you know, basically rebooting your iPhone. So hold down the buttons to reboot your iPhone, whatever iPhone you have, go ahead and slide that thing to power off, go ahead and power back on, and you want to see if that ends up working for you. Like I said, for a lot of people, that might be all you have to do, and that's essentially what I'd recommend doing for you too. Now, if you do that and that's still not working, another thing you may want to try doing is to try seeing if you can update your iPhone. Now, sometimes an update can fix it, and you know, if it's a general update or if it's a you know, system update, whatever you have, that might be all you're going to have to do here as well. So make your way over to your settings just like this. You want to scroll down until you see your cellular or just until your general settings, which is not that one. You want to go back general settings right here. Click on software update and you want to see if there's a software update available. If there is, just go ahead and update your iPhone. And like I said, for a vast majority of people, that's probably all you're going to have to do. And that might end up fixing it for you too. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.